on our trip. Gorgeous. Let's get some chunks. Fish of the trip. First carp of Margo, just over 24 pounds. Lovely stuff. Hopefully, we see one double the size. Really happy with that. This is my first koi <laughs> that I can remember anyway. 24 pounds, 24 pounds, 7 ounces. No, sorry, 23 pounds, 7 ounces. Nick's lost one, he had a screamer. Joe's waiting for a take. He's had a few liners and stuff, but awesome stuff. Mega fish this is. So this is the first update for the first 24 hours of the session here. Well, session, seven, <laughs> seven day a week. Um, but yeah. Obviously here on Margo Lake and I'm two fish in as you've seen before. I'm doing pretty well, both of them are off the same spot. I'm doing something interesting for this one. What I'm doing is I'm bait boating it to the peg which is quite far down the margin because um, I can't really get the line around there. I'm walking down with my waders on, meeting the bait boat at a tree further down, getting in. Um, getting the rig off the boat and placing it into the spot so I know it's fishing and I know it's in place um, as well as putting two handfuls of bait over the top a handful of Pacific tuna 15 mil and a handful of life system 15 mil over the top of that and then I'm also putting on my hair I'm putting two 15 mil Pacific tuna from CC Moore on it and so far it's done the business, it's claimed to. Oh, it's a quick double take for me this afternoon. Here's the first one. This is cool. La -ba. Joe's PB of the trip, £49.4, biggest mirror carp he's caught, fucking monster.
Right, number two for me of the trip. How to park a bait, hook bait. Get in. Mega. Here you go. Joe on his third fish, just under 30 pounds, around 20, just over, well, was it 27 pound two? Yeah. Lovely fish, 26 wraps out. Bit of a, <laughs> bit of a battle getting it in, but I reckon there's more to come. Bosh. Here you go. Joe's, Joe's had his fourth fish. What's it, 19 pound nine. Second core of the trip. That's a mega carp, that is. Cause for wicked right here we go number five for me on this trip 30 pound 12 ounces come on a double tiger nut on this left hand side of the baited spot really happy with this mega fish get in bosh margo's really working out for us now wicked news Here's Joe with his sick fish on the trip at just over 27 pounds. This is a mega angry looking common, stunning fish. Well done, mate. Wow, fish number seven for me, and it truly is a good one. Uh, 40 pound, 14 ounces. This common slipped in my net. Uh, I lost one moments before. Uh, this fell to a solid bag of um, Parker Bates fruit and nut wafter in it. Uh, yeah, over a lot of pellet and Parker Bates OG fish. So I'm really happy with this. Uh, this is number seven. So let's keep it going and hopefully we'll get some more. Well, I'll let Nick do the talking for this one. Savage. <laughs> How is this fair? So let's keep it going. Both lost decent fish half an hour before. My rod rattles off probably the smallest fish in the lake so I've had one of the biggest and one of the smallest now. Joe, put down. absolute beauty. 40 pounds, 14. Obviously I'm not struggling to hold mine <laughs> Joe is, but there you go. But sign of things to come, at least it's picked up. We'll get the rods back out in a minute and go again. So here we are, just gonna release the, uh, the beast. 40 pound, 14 ounces. Well, cracking 30 pound, a few ounces, stunning mirror, made up for the one I lost under nine pound or I caught just a minute ago, or 10 pound yeah, or whatever pound, it was. Yeah. But it seems to be that my spot is rocking, so hopefully there'll be a few more to come. It's definitely powered up, there's definitely plenty more fish to have out there I reckon. Good stuff. So this is what I'm using today in the mix. Pacific tuna, 15 male boilies. Cream, sweet nut cloud, and life system shelf life. I'll show you what it looks like when they're all mixed together. Nick with another fish. How many fish you had so far? Four, Number four and one hundred and nine pound cat. As you can see in the left hand corner, he's still got another one away. This is part of a double hooker. This is a stunning, lovely ghost carp. It doesn't quite show up so much as you do when you look from above, but there's a lovely white, white colour to the top of its head. Thirty-five pound dead. Stunning fish. Dead. Nice. Stunning. Awesome. Well done, mate. Good job. Cheers, buddy. So here you go, here's Nick's second fish for that double take. This one's £33.10. It's not playing ball at the moment, it's had to weigh in the net for 
20 minutes so while we sorted the other fish out but stunning fish it really is 15 Look pound one lovely looking koi that's three koi we've had so far and this one's slightly different to what we've had this one's got white underneath as you can see it's what time in the morning did it did it wake you up it's about seven just before seven o'clock yeah so fish started moving on to a swim around then and we just just had a, an aborted take so there's more fish to have nice real choppy today so here you go obviously we thought there'd be another one out from around Nick's area and here it is what was it 38 pound one yeah. lovely looking fish really pretty looking mirror I reckon there'll be more to come than this right the chap the other side as well that's opposite him he's kicking it off over there as well so there's quite a few up this end of the lake well done here you go 39 pound 10 beast of a fish just below 40 look at that that's a break what's that a brace of 30s okay. there we go 40 what was it oh, it's 40 know. it's 49 pound with the sling so 46 pound beast of a grass carp absolute machine Oh, it's a PB grassy for me, definitely. I think it's the first one out on the trip, although there's been a fair few carp caught. It's been the first one out on the trip, so made up with that. Oh, look at the size of that power. Oh, it's because we get stills there. Lovely. I cannot wait to show you what, what's inside that sling. Hell of a fish, chunk and a half. Bosh. So this is the rig doing the doing the job, or done the job, should I say? Okay. Standard quick bit. Size four haulers crank hook. Fifteen mil light system boilie, and a lucky piece of yellow corn come from Nick. Awesome stuff. So new PB, fifty-six pound mirror. At Margo Lake on a 15 mil low system boilie, total bit of plastic corn. Thankfully, Nick gave it to me on a size, was it a size four crank hook? Done the business with a scatter and a low system boilie on top, 15 mil. Brilliant. Pearl, a new PB for me. Ready to take a bucket now. Beast. Yeah, get that hot off. Gonna make someone else's day. I'm starting to develop a love for the French food, especially these these little desserts. Gorgeous. Here we go. Nick on the scene again with another fish, 29 pound mirror carp, stunning fish again. His spots, whoa, it's unbelievable how much is rocking. It's, whoa, there's definitely got to be a few more fish to come yet. Lovely. Top angling, top angling. Yeah, top, top, top angling. So. Here's Nick with another fish, 37 pounds six. Just as Joe put casted the rod out whilst he is holding the net, the rod went off in his hands as well. So his spots, spots got plenty of fish on it, and there'll be more to come, I reckon. Good work, good skills. To chaos. Two fish there. One in the net. 
and another one there. Mashing it up. Yes! Here you go. Lovely brace of carp. Within the space of 10 minutes, we've got two more to weigh. We've got a 40, what's it, 41 pound? And what's it, how big? 35 pound mirror carp. Lovely fish. So here you go. This is the third fish to weigh out of the four. 41 pound five. Hell of a fish, look at that. Another fish to weigh. Beast. <laughs> I think it was £24.8. Um, yeah, really happy with this one. Get it back, no more fish away now, and uh, get some more bait out there, and hopefully they'll be back on it. Right, literally this morning, Friday morning, mental, absolutely mental. We've had, well, I think Dano and Joe have come up to my swim because he's dead down their end at the moment. They've come up, and I think we've probably had ten fish easily yeah, this morning nine. between us. Um, this one, well, to be fair, a bit of a joint effort. I put the obviously it's on my spot in my rig on my line, struck into it. Oh, we let Dano let Dano have a little play, bring it in. So a little bit of a team effort, but this went fifty-four pounds. Nine ounce, uh, five ounce, 54.5. Yeah, 54.5. Grassy. This, if I can hold it. Huge. Huge. Was that corn and the tiger nut, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, bit of maize, tiger nut. Feeding a little bit of maize, tigers over the top. Absolutely unbelievable. What a beast. Unit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my days, monster. So here you go, £25.8, obviously we, we were going to weigh it before we had that grass cup, the grass cup kind of intervened, but it was worthwhile at 50 something pounds. Manic, two more, <laughs> this swim's tearing it. Right, number four today for me down in the bay with my old man. Uh, 35 pound, yeah, buzzing. Caught on a, this one was a tiger nut with a bit of fake maize on top with a maize and tiger nut over the top. Yeah, lost her. 39 pound 12. Well, um, well Nick was over getting a shower. <laughs> It's my turn, well, I suppose taking the rod, whilst, I, whilst he's over there I had hold of the receiver and unfortunately I think I have one of the smallest of the <laughs> of the shoal that he's been hitting but I'm still grateful as I haven't had one from my swim for 24 to 48 hours but well, yeah it's 24 hours got to be on it now, more than that and here it is £19.9, lovely little little mirror carp, nice deep body, I reckon that's going to grow to be a big fish. So last night coming, coming towards us on this trip, fingers crossed and hope for another. <sighs> so £37.4 ounce, grass carp off the uh, baited spot, it's the first one I've put, well I've caught since I've put out loads of bait so buzzing it's been slicking up like mad so I think there's plenty more to be had tonight uh, yeah not so really happy first grass carp of the trip buzzing so number 13 or 14 now uh, 30 no 29 pound grassy sorry part of the double take buzzing let's go So, there it is, all packed up, swim all tidy. So, 
So, what can I say? I've just started my final leg on this last, last incredible trip that went from me thinking it was a joke at the big one of joining Nick and, and Joe to France, but it ended up to be actually going there. It was pretty incredible within, I don't know, what was it, two months? And wow, what a week. Thank you to Nick and Joe for letting me join. It's, it's definitely a week to remember within the future. And like I said, we started on a high as well. I got over there and caught the first two fish. One of them was a PB koi. And then it went from like me to blanking for 72 hours. But during that time, I watched Nick catch a catfish, a mandarin catfish in, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 22 minutes. Okay, <laughs> what a battle. And... It went from that to seeing Joe catch his PB at 49 pound and that was an amazing fish as well and the three of us holding that mandarin catfish. Something to remember. And then after that Joe went on to blanking for a short period while I caught uh, my biggest carp that I've ever seen in my life. The biggest carp that I'll probably probably catching a while which was a 56 pound mirror which is a known fish in the lake called single scale and then after that I blanked for a while and Nick had an incredible end to the session with with a lot of a lot of fish showing up on his spot and getting one after the other I think he ended up with 20 was it 23 fish or or more so incredible and he even shared his spot I managed managed to wingle one out and to see that 56 pound grass carp in amongst them and then the last night Joe having three more grass carp it's just been an incredible incredible sort of week we've gone from seeing like a lizard having a koi poo run through my line and and setting my alarms off at night a swan picking up me bait ducks sit hanging around on my spot as well and it's just just incredible. We saw a baguette stand, a, was it a baguette vending machine? I never seen something like that before. And we walked through the market stalls, and it's incredible, an amazing week. And I'm looking forward to my next trip for France. That's for sure. I'm gonna have to book another one at some point in the future because I'm just shocked for words. It's been amazing. Thank you. I'll see you on the next episode.